Once upon a time, there was a king <coughs> and a queen. <coughs> and they had a little girl named the Princess Gigi. Yes, yes, she's our daughter. Hurry up and get to the point. Now, now, Cuthbert, let the narrator finish his story. Thank you, Your Highness. Don't mention it. Now then, <coughs> Gigi's royal parents... Well, that's us! <laughs> Gigi's parents told her that in order to govern wisely and well, she would have to learn as much as she could about people, and the best place to do that... Was Earth! Yes! <laughs> temper, temper, young feller! Sorry, Your Highness. Uh, she traveled to Earth and was adopted by a friendly couple in a large city. Her foster mother was a teacher, and her new father ran a small animal hospital. Yeah, I always liked animals myself. A nice touch, Yolanda. Thank you, Cuthbert. But really, we must let the nice man finish. He's been so patient. Oh, but he's so darn slow. Do you mind? Cuthbert? Well, he hasn't said a word about her magic powers or her three friends. I or... was going to. Now, nah, you just sit there, Sonny, and let an old pro tell the story, okay? Besides, I'm the king. Now then, the real lowdown is that we wanted Gigi to search for the true meaning of life and how the universe ticks and all that. So we figured Earth was the place because it's the most exciting spot in the cosmos. If she ever got in a jam, she could always call on her star power by way of the magic candy cane we gave her for her last birthday. It concentrates the power every kid on Earth already has. And with it, she can do almost anything and be anybody she wants to. <laughs> Pretty neat if I do say so myself. Of course, we sent along her three friends too, Mocha, Tweet, and Bonkers. I admit we try to keep an eye on her from back here to make sure she doesn't get into too much trouble, but sometimes we just can't keep up with our little Gigi. Thank you very much, Your Highness, but if you don't mind... Yeah, oh, oh, no, no, go right ahead. <laughs> you forgot all about him. Excitement abounds as Gigi's parents prepare to leave on a well-deserved vacation in Tahiti. See, he's doing it again. Cuthbert? Oh. Hurry up, Mama, the taxi's waiting out. Are you sure you're going to be able to manage? Hmm, you seem awfully happy that we're leaving. Papa! Now, you won't forget to feed the goldfish once every evening. Mama, I'm perfectly capable of taking care of the house while you're gone, and that includes feeding the goldfish. All you two have to do is have a great time in Tahiti and leave the rest to me. Come on! Taxi's waiting! Are you sure you have keys to both doors? <laughs> I just don't think I'm ready for two weeks of indigestion. I know I'm not ready for any more curried bird seed. Perhaps we should all go on a diet. You just have a great vacation and come back with a terrific sunburn. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Come back soon. Bye-bye. Have fun. Come back Bye. soon. See you later. Bye. <sighs> what is it? What's the matter? I don't really... I I'm not sure, but... I guess things will go okay. Of course they will. What could go wrong? don't understand it. There has to be some kind of malfunction in the ground vector input. Everything seems to check out okay, though, so what is it? Sunspot 4, Sunspot 4, come in, Sunspot 4. We are getting unusual energy readings usual. from Micronation That's Sector That's the mildest word I can Do think of. Over. How about ridiculous? Let's really check this thing out. That's impossible! What was that, Sunspot? Please respond. Over. I'm getting some energy readings from that sector that are physically impossible. Can you give us a visual link? Coming right up. If those aren't man-made energy emissions, I'm crazy. Don't spot this is how it's, sir. We can discuss your sanity later. Now give us that link up. Roger, Major. Energy Vortex is one of the Society Islands Polynesian chain near Tahiti. Major, this is Sunspot 4. That energy seems to be registering hotter and hotter by the minute. Sir, we have definite confirmation of Sunspot's energy readings. What do you want us to do? Tell him to keep it quiet. Now you listen to me. This is M.I.C. Boss Oliver, none of this must leak out. Do you understand? I'm aware of that, sir. I've coded everything on Channel 3. I see. We're getting very unusual energy readings from Sector Quad 5. Have you got a copy of the Varish? The needle seems to be registering hotter, higher by the minute. We're not doing any reading at all. We're not doing any more, Captain. Oh, my God, he's getting really, like, strong, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has informed me that we will be landing in Papiete, the capital of Tahiti, in one hour. Oh, huh. one hour. Well, I must say, at least it was a calm and uneventful flight. <laughs>
advance to inform you that we will be crash landing in approximately... This can't be happening! We have to do something about it! Yes, you're right, so I suggest we start screaming! for her to prove herself. To prove herself? She's proved she can get into all kinds of messes and... <laughs> Relax. Thanks. It says here, through cloud bank, turn left at horizon. Okay. Oh. Hey! Hmm. If I've read the book right, that's it up ahead. Then you better hang on. Here we go. Say that was an understatement. Oh boy! Huh? It's draining our engine. Oh, I don't like this guy. to be just the right spot, Rico. Nobody will find us here. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks uh, a lot well, for saving uh, us, uh, mister. Uh, 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 where did you 
come from? Who are you with? The fans? The G-Man? G-Force? Great Caesar's ghost! You scared me right out of my stride! Oh, 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 oh. Let's get her, Rico. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you managed to find us way out here, but it'll be the last thing those baby blues will ever see. Look! Ah. Huh? <laughs> this place is getting a little crowded for my taste. Come on! There we are, Junior, safe and sound. So we better get cracking and start looking for that mysterious power source before tomorrow's race. We wouldn't exactly want anybody to find it before we do, now would we? Uh-oh, Slight. I think we have company. Look! Huh? How do you do? You're not the only ones that have company. Ah! Ah! Holy St. Valentine's Day. I wish I was wrong, but those guys look like they're starving, and I don't mean for attention. Oh, my goodness gracious, you startled us. We are, we are so happy to welcome you. We are so happy to welcome you. We are so happy to welcome you. Thank you very much. I love you. I want to give a big welcome to the latest arrivals to our little island paradise. And speaking of paradise, what more could you want from life than your very own home? That's right, I'm talking ownership here. Your very own timeshare smack in the mouth. Chief Namba Pamba sure seems sort of odd. Timeshare? <laughs> Why race through the jungle for a piece of undeveloped bog? Wouldn't you like to sit back and just smell the roses? And besides, island spirits can be very bad-tempered if not appeased in the proper manner. Do you follow? These beautiful units can be had for a mere 150 smack of rollers. At 1,200 a month, you can be a proud owner in almost no time. Any questions? I do. What? What? Speak up. What is it? I want to know if there have been any plane crashes on this island. I came here looking for my parents. Nothing of the kind would ever happen here, my dear. It's the calmest spot in Micronesia. I suppose perhaps we could arrange some sort of discount. Do I have any offers? I just want to say one last thing, and that's the buffet closes at 6 p.m. sharp! And they're off! Uh-oh. Help! 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 Somebody help me! Great minds think alike, though I'm surprised at your obsolete design. You'd better read up on the latest balloon technology, my friend. They're both full of beans. You catch my meaning, boys? I'm gonna find that power source before you. Ah. We'll, we'll see, see you about that. that. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. O'Han? Mr. O'Han, please take me with you. Maybe I can help. Hey, maybe that's not bad. An extra couple of hands is pretty good to have around in an emergency. You told me that yourself. Hmm. I must say this. It will never be said of this magician that I'm not a gentleman to damsels in distress. Get in. Thank you so much. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Get in. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Terribly sorry, Mr. O'Han. I'm not very familiar with these contraptions. <laughs> the more the merrier.
Dragons, I must be seeing things. around with Percy Fleming like that. Dragon's my eye. Now! Mm, I forgot the bullets. Help me! Geronimo! I'm beginning to have a bad feeling about this. Darn these new PCs. I've been trying to get a fix on those dragons for ten minutes, and all I get is answer hazy, try again later. Well, I think you'd better come up with something quickly. Hmm? Oh, no! <gasps> oh, why, you no good piece of worthless, and somebody fetch me the royal sledgehammer. I'm gonna show this junk pile a thing or three. Your way with machines never ceases to amaze. Thank you, but it needs to move in for a close-up. A close-up, I said! Did you hear me, you stupid pile of... Oh, thank you very much. You, uh, what the heck? You, uh, what, what's going on here? This, this thing's gone crazy. It, now, cut that out, you. You stop it. Uh, read my lips. Stop it. Uh, stop it! Cuthbert, where have they gone? They're in that cloud bank, but I can't get the viewer in close enough to spot them yet. But she might be lost. No, oh, my baby lost. We have to get her out of there. Oh, why doesn't somebody do anything? The tension's driving me crazy. Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of that cloud? Uh, Cuthbert, I just thought of things. something. I just realized we can contact the famous Dragon Master. Of course, if anyone can find our baby Fuzzy can. one of the finest rehearsals I've heard in a couple of eons. I'll get it. Hi, Fuzzy the Dragon Master, who's this? Oh, how are you, Your Majesty? How's your wife and your daughter, the princess? Yes? What do you mean, my neighborhood? Yep, I'm at the same address as before. Well, of course, Your Majesty. Whatever you have to say to me is like putting money in the vault. Nobody will know about it. No one. Your Majesty, it'll be my pleasure to help save the princess. Sayonara! Okay, Fuzz, we're off! Oh boy, I'll finally be able to meet a princess! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! Hey, everybody, we're gonna have to cut rehearsal a little short. I've gotta go save a princess! Yes, Bye! If you don't mind, I'd appreciate some more room. As captain and sole proprietor of this vessel, may I remind you that your presence aboard is not required, Mr. Fleming? Yeah, don't go making with no threats, see? Because I'm sure my man Rico would hate to upset our delicate balance of friendship, right, Rico? You may be a big man where you come from, but... Hey, big Al, look. Huh? What? What is it? What? What, what in blazes is that? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. Oh, oh. 
Incredible. How could there have been so many crashes in one place and no sign of a survivor? They can't have just disappeared. Well, my sources indicated some sort of tractor beam was used. Tractors, airplanes, ships, and boats. And I bet that upside-down city has something to do with it. Yeah. I've never seen anything quite so odd. That's right. I'm sorry. If I didn't know better, I'd swear those monsters were protecting the kids. I guess they missed us. Wow. Where am I? What's going on? You're not going to believe this slide, but you're as big as I am. Oh. You're my prisoners, everyone. Put them up. Hey, Rico, what are we standing around here for, anyway? Let's go find out where everybody's headed. Come on. Yay! Excuse me, Mr. Dragon, where's everybody going? My dear, were you addressing me? My friend and I are bringing the new arrivals to meet Lord Kensington. If you wish, you may all come along with us. Yay! <laughs> Hey, now cutting in line. What have we got to lose? Come in here, you're not a real kid. Not real? What do I look like to you, chopped liver? Never touch the stuff myself, but if the kid detector says you're not a real kid, who am I to argue? Look, I'm only a clown. I've got seven little puppets to feed. I only work here. Please don't give me a hard time. But I... But what? Please let me in. Mr. Clown, my parents crashed in an airplane. I know they're in there somewhere. I have to find them. Well... Maybe they've been hurt or worse. I've got to find them. Can't you understand that? Can I go? Certainly you can go, my dear. Certainly. I'll just turn off the intruder alarm and you'll be off. Nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. Have a nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> That clown face sort of person could have dumped us a bit less unceremoniously. I got some dust in my ears I don't think I'll ever get rid of. Do you think that ray that knocked out our space van could have something to do with that city up there? You're probably right, Tweet, but I'd sure like to know what. And 
what's more, how does a ray turn grown-ups into kids in three seconds flat? If you'll pardon my pessimism, I'd say all these questions are fairly useless, as there is simply no way for us to get up there and find out the truth. Hey, wait! Of course we have a way! The magic candy cane my real parents gave me for my birthday! But how do you know it'll work? Well, I have used it once already, and it worked perfectly fine that time. Only I'm not too sure if I still remember how to say the magic spell very well, though. Mm, but you will remember it soon. Of course I will! Nothing's going to stop me from getting up there. It'll be a snap! <laughs> Well, keep your fingers crossed. Ah, ricky ba ticky brew ha ha Bing, tickle, ting, rickle, ooh, la, la. wag a toosie, flim, flam, catch him in a tin can. Mama, Louie, Papa, Shooey, zoom, me, yeah! Et voila! And what do you think of Le Chat? Absolutely splendid. Why? You look like a stunning cat burglar. Yeah. Merci, mes amis. You're positively too kind. If the cat can't get in, nobody can. Kensington lives pretty well. as good a way to shut it down as anything else. <gasps> Do you make a habit of barging into other people's homes uninvited, or is this just a passing fancy? Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you leave the premises immediately, or do I have to get rough with you? I'm afraid you're going to have to get rough because I'm not leaving. Be my pleasure.
you really ought to learn how to accept compliments. I promise I'll do my best. Just get it over with, okay? No. Huh? I haven't had that much fun in a month. Where'd you learn to fence like that? But you're... But aren't you supposed to wound me? Nah, <laughs> you've been watching way too much TV. What about all those wrecked planes and boats down the mountain? Nobody was hurt. I turn everyone who reaches this island into a kid so they can stay happy forever. I have to keep this place a secret, you know. With the power of the fountain, I have magic at my fingertips. Fountain? What fountain? The fountain of youth, of course. Watch. So, what do you think about that? Very nice, but what was that you said about a fountain? My father discovered it. Oh, well, uh, was he famous? Would I have ever heard of him? No, that is, unless you were up on current geology. Oh, well, I, uh... Are you? No, I'm not. I'd be glad to tell you his story if you'd really like to hear it, but let's go outside first. It's cooler out there. When I was still a small child, my father discovered a well. Actually, it was an artesian spring that he had dug out. Mm -hmm. If you took just one tiny sip from that well, some amazing things happened. Most important being, the more you drank, the younger you felt. He had found the fountain of youth, and he devoted his life to it. We moved to this island, and I was alone a lot of the time. So I read books, anything I could get my hands on. I loved Peter Pan and the Pied Piper, and realized that with the power in the magic fountain, I could create a world where there was no war or violence and nobody ever had to get sick or even grow old. My parents learned that this potion worked not just on the body, but on your imagination, too. The power in it's incredible, but the effects only last if you stay near the island. My parents never took advantage of the fountain, and when they passed away, I created my own Never Never Land, and I'll fight to keep it. Peter, I'll fight with you, but the real reason I'm here is I'm looking for my parents. I know they're here somewhere. They crashed on a plane bound for Tahiti. A DKM airliner? Mm -hmm. Sure, they're both here and they're fine. Where are they? Your mom and dad reminded me a lot of my parents, so I let them stay grown-ups. In fact, they're going to be substitute parents for all the kids who have decided to stay here. Hey, you want to see something neat? Watch. Voila! Oh. <gasps> hmm? Why didn't you tell me your magic has a time limit on it? I could have been turned into a pumpkin or a cabbage or something. What do I do now? She's not a real... Uh... Godfrey, I know all about her. You do? Uh, but Peter, you don't even know my name or where I come from. It's my responsibility to know everything that happens inside my kingdom. Gigi. <gasps> That's some knife. Turn that thing off. How about a little spin around my world? Come on. Don't be afraid. Uh, uh... Let me show you what the power can really do. Hold on. Recognize anyone familiar down there? <gasps> and the big wolf said to the little pig, I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and then I'm going to blow your house down. Of course, the little pig who had been to college was too smart to believe the wolf's threats. And he thought, while he's huffing and puffing, I'll just slip out through my secret cell and do it. Your parents are a big hit here. Now the little pig was in serious trouble with the big bad wolf. Where are we going? Well, you were so worried about finding your parents, I figured you might want to see a doctor, so I brought you to one. Huh? He's the best we have. In fact, he's the only one we have. Now, be careful. Thanks. <laughs> a small lumbar problem. Papa? See ya. Well, young man, that appears to be quite a case of athlete's glove you have there. My word. They look so happy. Bye.
Now you all be careful and don't play too hard. Mama, <gasps> Papa, I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're both okay. Huh? Well, how on earth did you find us? We didn't think we'd ever see our beautiful girl again. Aren't we glad to see you? Robert, Gigi's been awfully worried about us, you know. We owe her an explanation. Ah, well, you see, uh, being the only doctor aboard our plane, after the crash, I had my work cut out for me. Nobody was hurt, but there were an awful lot of scared people to take care of. Mm -hmm. And your parents couldn't get a message through because I wouldn't let them. I think that's about it. Did I miss anything? No. Mm -hmm. You see, actually, I'm the one responsible here. That's more or less correct. We knew we'd be able to get a message to you somehow, and we knew we'd be able to count on you to be strong, right? I know it's hard for you to understand, but please realize that there are thousands of children here who need someone to watch over them as much as you do. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you get that friend of yours, and I'll show you around Kensington Gardens. I've got a bunch of toys that'll blow the hair right off of your head. Okay, I'll go get her, but wait right here. Now what do I do? I can't let Mama and Papa find out about my magic. Hi, Peter. Uh, Gigi decided to go on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> oh, she loves carnivals. <laughs> That's for sure. When she discovers a circus or carnival, she disappears for hours. Oh, you won't be too disappointed, Peter. Nah. <laughs> hey, no problem. We'll catch up with her later. You can bet she'll be up to some mischief of her own. Enjoy yourselves. All right. Oh. After you, madam. Shall we dance? <laughs> Stay with me. about her. It must be simply terrible. She's been up there forever. Maybe we should call the National Guard? I would love to stay, but I have to go home, Peter. What do you mean, home? I can make this a better home than any place. My home is where my dreams are, where I can make every one of them come true. Hmm. Yes, and what better place to make them come true than here with me? You're making it so hard for me to choose. <laughs> Good. You're special, Gigi. Your magic is as strong as mine. And with the power of the fountain alone, I can stop them. But together, we can finish them off. Peter, I'm not sure what people you're talking about, but whatever harm they may want to do to you, you can't be like them. Don't you get what I'm saying? People like the MIC want to bomb this place. What? It's true. They believe we're a threat to them. They're afraid that peace is some kind of disease that might catch on and spread around the world. Well, maybe you're right. But I hope you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I'll fight for what I believe. Peter, you know I'm all for fighting for what you believe in, but not violently. What? You help others, that's all. You reach for your dreams and then help others find theirs. Understanding isn't so difficult, is it? Huh. Mm -mm. I just wish I could help you find yours, that's all.
I wonder if I'll ever be able to tell them where I come from. Going up. Would I ever be able to explain to him my dream of singing, of being a star? It seems so far away, almost unreachable. Sometimes I think of giving up, quitting, and doing something else. Then I think of how it will be on stage, in front of the crowd, singing my songs. I can't give that up. I can't. Excellent. Very nice. As you can see, gentlemen, although our agent has suffered certain uh, indignities, our information is still being transmitted full size, as it were. <laughs> The tremendous power emanating from this building is the same energy source we have been tracking for several weeks. Gentlemen, I am not exaggerating when I say that a power such as this, no matter how innocent its appearance, is a threat to global security and the military-industrial complex's domination of the world's political balance. It must be destroyed! <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh my goodness, Grape Juice, what are we gonna do now? This is terrible, I never should have sent Gigi to Earth, never, 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 never! We simply have to intervene after all, Cuthbert. Yeah? Those MIC people are much worse than we ever suspected. Look! Glad to have you with us, Bob. Well, Dimitri, what a pleasure this is. Colonel Papadopoulos, I'm glad you could make it. All you gentlemen and ladies, please take your seats. We'll be right with you. Well, this is turning into a real gold mine. <laughs> yeah, and we won't even have to discount any of the condos. There is only one way to maintain our political freedom, and that is by eliminating that power source. That fountain of diabolical energy is threatening to undo everything we have planned for years. What we have here is an attack of terminal pre-adolescence. This proliferation of precocious prepubescence must be pulverized to a pulp, exterminated, disintegrated, annihilated, obliterated, evaporated, and otherwise put out to pasture. Is that perfectly clear? <laughs> All right, men, this is Major Hodger. <laughs> Get them doggies rolling! It's coming from up there. <gasps> That's the intruder alarm. Kensington Gardens is under attack. The time has come for us to combat the MIC forces. <laughs> yes, but how? Prepare to attack with our first line of defense. We'll shake them up a bit with my flying remote robots.
Ты сам за! HQ, this is squadron leader 049er Niner. We have objective in our sights and we'll commence bombardment now. Over and out. What the? Squadron leader, come in. What's wrong? I'm sorry to bother you right now, but I have to come down. Really? never seen anything like it. How did they develop such a weapon without us hearing about it? Hmm, remind me to fire the Minister of Security. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one way to make peace with these people, and that's the blast of the smithereens! our way in if necessary. Come on! Right. No reason to cry. I'll be happy to take you to the palace if you'd like to come with me. Would you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on. Okay. Stop! Stop here! Hey! We're so happy to see you're safe. We're bringing these kids to Peter. Have you found Gigi? Not yet. I was just about to get her. But I have another passenger for you. Please find Gigi quickly. We're terribly worried about her. Don't worry about her. She's helping some other kids over on the west side of the park. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We were over at the park. I promise you by the Cosmic Sushi Bar, she's there. She told me she had stuff to do. <laughs> Probably one more ride on the merry-go-round. Huh? Hey, you'd better hurry up and get to the palace quickly. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll see you later. Be sure you take care of yourself. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Okay, hang on. Oh, dear. <laughs> How'd you do it? 
Sarah Mincy, my dear. How'd you make it by that clown at the main gate? Treat managed to create a diversion. What a pity there wasn't an audience. It was the finest performance of my career. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't there, but right now we have to get back to the palace as soon as we can to help Peter fight off the MIC forces. And who might Peter be? Peter's the one who built this world. Now, let's round up the rest of the people and then get him up to the palace. Everybody set? <laughs> Why'd you come back? I couldn't let you fight the MIC alone. I can do it alone. I don't need anybody to help me. I've been on my own and it doesn't bother me. You can't mean that. There's no way you can create a world by yourself. You can only do it with people who share the same dream. It's funny you should mention it. I'm happy you came to see things my way. <laughs> what? It's certainly not my choice, and it's a giant gamble, but I know it's going to work. It's got to. This is the reason I cut back in the protective shield. I had to put that energy into these grenades. It's been a costly risk, but a worthwhile one. Huh? I don't get any of this. You see, I'm making a bunch of hand grenades. They've been designed to explode only among the MIC's forces. But that means you're going to be hurting people. Just making them kids. I'm sorry, Peter. How could I have ever thought you'd be able to hurt someone on purpose? This whole mission hinges upon your performing precisely as we've practiced. Don't stick around to see what happens to the grenades. Just toss them and move. There are going to be a lot of fireworks. These will save Kensington Gardens, but we must fight together. Oh, 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 oh. If we ever get back to our house, I promise to swear off airplanes. Whatever for? Keep on 
Tiki Roo Ha Ha, Bing Tickle Ring Tickle Ooh La La, Waka Tootsie Swim Flam, Catch a Minute Tin Can, Mama Louie, Papa Chewie, Zoomie, Yeah! <gasps> There's no way we'll all fit in there. What do we do? Why don't you consider changing back to kid size? Oh, of course. I knew that. No, I really knew that. Are you all right? Are you feeling any pain? Are you in shock? Mildred, please answer me. I'll tear them limb from limb. They're not going to shove me around. No, stop. Wait! Shoot, you miserable coward! Are you crazy? They will! <sighs> Silly limit monsters, have you no shame dropping bombs on defenseless women and children? <sighs> Mildred, if we make it home, I'm going to make darn sure those morons aren't able to hurt anyone again, ever. Huh? Billy, you hear me? Bobby. Mildred, it won't be the same. Bobby, kiss me. Oh, oh dear, they're shooting at your parents! Not for long, they won't be! Hold on tight! Keep your hair on 
you drop by. I'm Fuzzy, the Dragon Master. Nice to meet you. How'd you know where we were? Easy. The king and queen told me where to pick you all up. A mm -hmm. piece of cake. Look down there. Who said dinosaurs are extinct? <laughs> Put it there, Dragon Master. on the plane. I'm afraid I'm just as confused as you are. The plane. And what happened at Kensington Gardens? I'm, uh, I'm afraid they'll never know about that. people here on Earth. Most people just aren't ready for that. And besides, as you said, I have to follow my dreams. Oh, by the way, would you like your space fan back? Very funny. Come on, Peter. You can help so many people reach their dreams as well as yours. What do you mean they're not ready? You're not serious, are you? Mm-hmm. Would so many people have fought against us if they were ready? It's simply not the right time, that's all. Don't worry, I'll be back. Yes, but then where will I be? I might never find you again. Sure you will. It'll be easy. You know, my world is a pretty darn special place, so if you ever want to find us, just think about us and we'll be there. You mean use my imagination? Mm-hmm. Works just like magic every time. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You sure you won't come with me? Peter, I... It's okay. Bye-bye. See you soon. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go. See ya. Good luck, Peter. I'll miss you. Me too, especially when we're in it. Uh huh. <laughs> ah! But near the T's divine. Sunspot 4, Sunspot 4, please respond. Come in, Sunspot. Do you uh -huh. read over? Combination, mm. Sunspot, where in blazes are you? Yeah. You hear me, boy? If you mm -hmm. need no respond, I'll sing to it hey. personally your shame. How about Jamaica for the perfect Garden vacation? Yeah. You hear me?
And so, with Gigi's help, her foster parents return safely home after a not-so-restful vacation. The MIC's covert operation was foiled, and life returned to normal. We now bid you a fond farewell Now just and... hold your horses there, Buster. I beg your pardon, but who are you and just what are you doing here? What do you think you're doing? Telling everybody the story's over. Want to get home early, eh? There's a lot more to come, right, Gigi? Uh... <laughs> Don't forget Thanks. your bag, Robert. <laughs> Bye! Gigi, hi. Sorry, can't stay. Gotta run. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Is it almost dinner time? Uh-huh. What about Papa? He'll be back. Are we having asparagus? Don't worry, I'll be back. Yes, but then where will I be? I might never find you again. Sure you will. Kensington Gardens is a pretty special place. If you ever want to find it, just think about it and we'll be there. Good luck, Peter. I'll miss you. You'll be part of my dreams forever. The square root is equal to the size of the... No, wait a minute, that's not... to the sides of the square knot, or maybe not. You reach for your dreams and then help others find theirs. Reach for your dreams. Reach for your dreams.